It's easy to imagine the life of an actor from a hit TV show as jumping from one role to the next. But even talented performers sometimes have periods where it's hard to find work. Sadly, that has been the case for actress Deborah Ann Wall, who co-starred in several of Netflix's now-defunct Marvel properties, most notably Daredevil. Since the series was cancelled in 2018, Wall says she has so far been unable to land a follow-up role. In an emotional interview on the YouTube series Joe Q's Morning Warm-Up, hosted by legendary comics artist and current Marvel creative director Joe Quesada, Wall opened up about her struggles with navigating the industry and how the lull in her career has affected her. As she put it, if I'm not acting, I'm not sure who I am. You know, it's been two years since Daredevil yeah. finished, or a little more, two and a half years. Mm -hmm. And I, I haven't had an acting job since. Um, and that's been really hard for me. She also opened up about the toll working as an artist in a tumultuous industry can take on a person's sense of self-worth. I'm just really wondering whether, um, whether I'll get to work again and whether anyone wants to work with me again and whether I still have it, all of those scary things. What makes Wall's plight all the more shocking is the fact that she's, well, really good at her job. If you never caught her work on Daredevil, you've still probably seen her on some other hit TV series over the last decade or so. It was only after a handful of guest spots on Law & Order and DR that Wall finally managed to land her breakout role, one that many people probably still recognize her from. In 2008, she was cast in the HBO series True Blood as Jessica Hamby, a timid young woman raised in a deeply religious household who underwent a bit of a personality change when she was turned into a vampire and introduced to all the powers that came with that supernatural status. In a show full of memorable characters, Jessica was one of the best liked, thanks in no small part to Wall's performance, which found just the right balance of innocence and edge. Honey, you know I'm a nice girl. Because of your smile. She even had her own web spin-off series of shorts called Jessica's Blog, which was meant to expand the True Blood universe, successfully doing so with 38 episodes over the course of several years. Hey, everyone. I've had a little too much time on my hands lately. When True Blood ended in 2014, it was no surprise that Wall quickly lined up her next high-profile TV gig, starring as the assertive journalist Karen Page on Daredevil. Wall also appeared as Karen in the crossover series The Defenders. She also appeared in another Marvel Netflix series, The Punisher, in which her character was originally not intended to appear. But showrunner Steve Lightfoot changed his mind about that after seeing the chemistry between Wall and Punisher actor John Bernthal, who made his debut as anti-hero Frank Castle in Daredevil's second season. Lightfoot said during a presser, I asked to have her because she and Frank are so great. Frank is a closed-off military guy, and this is a woman he treats like an equal more than anyone else. Quesada, who served as an executive producer on Daredevil, both empathized with Wallen expressed surprise that she would have trouble finding work. First of all, my, my yeah. jaw hit, hit the ground because uh, oh. you're an amazing talent. He wasn't the only former co-worker of Walls to speak up about her talents as an actor. After the interview, Walls' Daredevil co-star and screen legend Vincent D'Onofrio tweeted his support. Deborah and Wall can play any part written for an actor to play. I think of her as being one of my favorite scene partners in my career because of her talent. Every actor depends on their scene partner. You'd be lucky to have her with you. Unstoppable. A gift to storytelling. Burnthor replied to that tweet to offer his own support, writing, That right there's the truth. Big love to both of y'all. What an honor and joy to have rolled with you guys. With so much support from those who have worked closely with her, let's hope the end to Wall's dry spell comes quickly. In the meantime, you can still check out her work on the Netflix Marvel series or stream the entirety of True Blood on Hulu. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.